before Mixed Week gets there, so it's kind of down to a science. She, she's flowing. She's flowing in. So it's important to not want to rush. There's nothing wrong with being a teacher. And if the Lord calls you to preach, being a preacher, but it has a lot of responsibility. It has a lot of responsibility. Deep teaches Sunday school pretty regular for him. There's an expectation. You don't expect to see him coming out of some of the, the cat house. There are houses. That there are hot we have brothel. Brothel too. They just recently I'm trying to think of where it is. Somebody was telling me about it and they were telling it to be like, you know, they were I don't know, they were wanting me to join the membership. There's a, there's a new members only club that just opened. That's two hundred dollars a month. Two hundred dollars a month. Two hundred dollars a month. That's a lot of money. To get your own private key. To the facility. To the facility. Now, see, that's where you. Well, I ain't gonna say that phrase. Oh my God. That's a little cheap. They got a business plan for that one. you to grasp, you know, I, I don't want you to be afraid to want to step up if the Lord is calling you to teach or to have a responsibility. But on that same note, I'll give you a perfect example, and if anybody's ever had to deal with this, they can relate. Don't rush to be a youth teacher. Oh, God. <laughs> because they will criticize you. They will talk about you. They will make fun of you. They'll oh, snicker yeah. in the back of the class. Yeah. And if, if you've got soft skin, you better believe it. See, I've been there two or three times being a youth minister. I know what it's like, but I also know that I had to be <coughs> preaching and teaching the truth. And many of them would come back and tell you they appreciated it, or they were the ones that were, you know, <coughs> one thing that I discovered about young people that if you teach the truth, whether they want to hear it or not, mm -hmm. they would come pull you off to the side. Mm -hmm. They sneak to you. Because see, they didn't want to be in front of their friends. Right. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but you got to have tough skin to be a youth man. Mm -hmm. right. you, you got to have some tough skin. Right. Because kids always perpetrate like they're not listening. They always mm -hmm. perpetrate like they're not interested. They always act like what you're saying is of no relevance to them whatsoever. Some of it is that's true because they think they've got it figured out. Most 16 year olds Oh, yeah, they know already know everything. The solutions <laughs> to life and everything else, and it takes them a little while before they <coughs> see it. So don't be too quick to want to teach. Make sure that you are at a mature level. If the person was never at fault in what he or she said, what would that show about a person? They never had fault. They never had what? Never had fault in what they said. If they never had fault in what they said, what would that say about a person? If they were perfect. If they were perfect, 